Marshmallows. I hope there's no Christmas today, but happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, everybody. Yes, yes, sigulu mja tuliza, tukwaniza nyo, na te, ku program, James Muga Show, tuli live, eda chika zili kumina satu kumina nyezi ise kusawa ebili wanubongereza, akaimba kabone emu, kevada muka na kuluganda, mbaga liza siku kule enonji, nuza, it's not too early for Christmas. Connect Uganda Radio, tutamla kumisinde jahiri, ili kubanga Christmas comes early, wano ku www.connectuganda.com. Nuzi James Muga, ngabuli jom, kuhaniza nyo ni kugamba nti wete keteko kuhiga. Kubanga, tugenzi kasozi kaba hivu, ema kerele, uh, ukulaba nti tutegira guild president, umuja, ema kerele, yaani, ye, ebi ntu, agena biku watatia, ena higa, ena limpolitiksi. Ebi ntu ebi, kuwa tulu papula ni kalambo, so kubanga nti otegira. Katu wete keteke bulonji, shamimu, teka teka bulonji, uh, sigara kukateba uwe njini njini. Shami mtu kwa niza kwa Connect Uganda Radio. Nja kusaba, uvuze kubatuliza uh, teba ulirenti uwali. Mja um, walika watu uliriza, amanya nedewo zinze shami namba sa, Gale President of London wa Makero University. Katu suki tukukuli se uh, okuyo za yuza uh, kalulu, kage nda katia, kata mbula bulu unji, kata mbula nga wale uka suwira, mwali muchi, au nusa tutandikira au, nga tunawo kutegira shami muyali. Hello. Hello. Yes. Mm. Um. Ndaza kani kani ya katambula nga tuwa yutufatili ya kubanga. Tetuma yinti ni makewe is Uganda summarize. Mm. Seriali mu Uganda nga tulio ndamu kaluluka kumibidi ya vidi. Mm. Nida vya damu wa ni makewe nga mm. tunonya guild president. Tiba ansiri wa kuleti ya gasi wa kuleti ya masasi. So, jiri mm. wetuwa yutufatili ya vya 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 Okay, uh, mu, mu, mu second singa nkaga, oso kumbuli ya shamimu yaani, ata kumbanyi for starters, shamimu yaani. Um, Amanya, nedewo zinze shamimu namba sa, uh, ndi student wa Macquarie University, kwa ya pharmacy, ni umuwa kagwa kusaki. Ina nganze guild president wa mwende wa Macquarie University. Right. Okay. Uh, Kansubenti uh, akadi kaja kusobozisa okutuya mba kukutegira uh, echigenda mumaso kukasozi kaba hivu esawa zino. Uh, na hitu walo kumanya. Chichi echi kufuga enyo. Chichi tuli nanga amanyo ina manji. Amanyi gana ugajawa. What drives you into politics and what drives Shamimu Nambasa? Um, <coughs> that time can I am I'm a kind of person that has to learn 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 Nesangati ni nani zenga shami mino kubayo ni njo geli da avanti ni njo presenti ni avanti chichi waga ya chichi waga chichi waki liliza mm, mm. so uh, maanyi ga avanti giga kufuga yes yes exactly ok njia kukina kumu current affairs at the moment tuina insonga ya uh, shake chilevu ya food day over ya tidua Njalo kutumulia butebe nkevu kwa university nga bubuli na dala kubana wa islam, kubana wa mchala wa islam. Uh, so kumpe take on your, uh, your side. What's your take about the incident ya Sheikh Chilev? Um, first and foremost, it's, it's known in Uganda and sibuli kasele wa nchi uwe wati uwa wa wa waiting to expect Ekitagenda mbaso nga chili unji, mm. yiba soko blemi nga baba basiram. And it hurts me so much that I'm also Muslim. Mm. And iti katisiri mugu ongo, ntibuli etila au, 
government I know kuvae ni gamba I know these pigs and definitely it comes back to us and we condemn an act like that so so la kuta muntu nga tuli visa side yetu tayo get exactly so it was really wrong and we condemn it and we must come out and stand as a government against such acts mm, mm. <laughs> Uh, to to kumanya um eh, obutebe nkevu ku university na dala kubana ba islam buli buli ebyo anga we chimili geta hapa ebyo kwelinda obutebe nkevu byo kwelinda byona byenjaka okutegera ku university kubakati mm. goli ku source twala kumanya ngabo kitambula yes um ngabo chili sawa you know Makara University na get statu as a manikidwa mm. irrespective of the forest borders Nina sawa you know the uh, two gates are closed it's only the main gate that is being used but it is absurd so mtu agendo yingi that the way it's being done we as the students uh, recently had a meeting with the GRC elex and we are analyzing the security status quo at the moment to mana yingi as long as you show a student id they don't check you so because anyone can make an ID. I tell you, I get ID from kids in the university, which is not okay. And still, not as many as students. We've had a time when the army raided Lumumba Hall. So if if the army can actually do that to the students. So we, even up to now, we do not trust the security forces that we are not sure what exactly their priority is or what they stand for. So many of them making sense, but mm, mm. that is the fear we are in. Now, yes, they are trying, but it's an act. It's just a show. It's actually not the real kind of security that we would have expected. But even when they come through, we've had cases of harassment, mm. cases where they ask for money when they get you at night hmm. so it's not it's not actually okay uh, right now are you speaking from the university inside or bar or in our slower level university uh right now i'm a resident of mary stewart hall and as i speak i'm standing right at my balcony balcony that's good in okay. mary stewart yeah okay uh kansu kinze yoko waguru or was a makiri yakozi choice of kuronda over uh yes definitely i i believe they made the right choice as the student fraternity but as students we are people who are educated and learned and we know the right choice when people come to us i spoke and the students believed in what i believed in and we have the same voice as the student fraternity so they so, made the right choice hmm. for me Soka on pieces a mukatono, uh Kumunja Ulizanga li Canada, Limu Croydon, UK or Bali Leeds, uh Ainzo Kwagaro Kumanya, criteria e tambule tia o muntu ku short listing anti u jakuberango vuganya uh wachi chivina chino uh or to bully wachi vivina being mu politics wa university m na wuna soko to is a muko embed tambule tia. Kumanga wa muntu nzo kubante tu vimanyi. Hello? Yes, nkuhulia bulonji. Mpulide? Yes. Um, first and foremost, it's an, it's an electoral commission. They send out um, a call for application. Hmm. And anyone that is interested applies. Uh, where you get signatures from about 100 students who are going to second you. Then you submit your photo, mm. pay um, a sum of 200000 that's for the presidential aspirant, mm. and then um, you submit your results as well. Mm. So the academic register verifies the students to qualify, must be on normal progress, mm. and then must have a CGPA above 2.8, and no retake, no missing marks or anything like that. So after they've done the verification process, they go ahead to lift the duly nominated students and then get voted. Um, the question of political parties, mm. like I said, Makere is Uganda summarized. So political parties are going to be involved because Makere University has about 40,000 youth. Mm. 
Mm. And we know in the next five years, the youth will be about 80% of the Ugandan population. So when the youth in Makere University speak, it sets precedent that this is actually what the youth in Uganda are believing in. So I would believe that is why political parties are so much dealt into... O- Ogami, Ma- Makere has got 40,000 youth. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, yes. you are educating me now. Yes. Okay. Uh, ku- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, 40,000 youth. Ebibina bi ingira mudi. Mwe mugenda ne mu lobbying mu bibina. Obe bibina bi jene bibatu ukirira. Ntabaye mugenda kutani kakundi uh, campaigns. Can we help you here over there? How does it work out? Yes. Um, as a university, we have um, party chapters that you find we have the Makere in UP chapter. Mm-hmm. Like it is a structure on its own that has delegates, has students from different schools, different halls of residence. So when that time comes, these people organize themselves at the university level and we have primaries and mm. decide on which candidate is going to be back. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. And then present that candidate to the political party. Kasoko mbule mu, nupu ya kuwa kukasende o kulaba anti-campaigns itambula bulu unji uba? Shamim? Yes, um, nupu as a party did come through the different members of parliament, um, councillors, Ugandans at large, everyone came to to support me financially and NUP was at the helm of everything. Uh, it's not just nope as nope party. Uh, they yes. different people, different uh, friends, Bonaba uh, Geneva supporting a campaign. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how expensive is your campaign ku university in Um, it's really expensive and this time round when we had to do both the physical and the online campaign, it got even worse but we had to spend more, so it's actually expensive. Most spending on kuchi, for example. Um, we spend on posters. We have to spend on mobilizers. We have to spend on these rallies when we bring the band, bring music. Hey, we need a band. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so so correct. Uh, on a, a normal day campaign, so ko so ko pisize mu kukatuno. Uh, umuriza wanga yes. tegele bulunji. Yeah, on a normal day campaign, yes. you wake up, mm-hmm. yes. Yes, Um. on a normal day campaign, I wake up, move around the uh, Mary Stewart, for example, mm-hmm. greet the girls, check on them, move to the different classes, and then later in the evening, is when now we shall have the rallies where we move around and spread the agenda. And then later come back in the night and have a rest. Katso Katulabe, morning uh, campaigns, Nayati lectures again at Mars. How would you uh, uh, run the tour? Much of Gamit. Yes, um, most times Osanga and in about uh, two lectures in a day. Mm. So morning and afternoon. So I'll have my classes maybe from 8 to 10. And then from 10 to maybe 1, I'm going to be in different classes. Well, at that time, you can miss about 10 classes because you just go there for about 5 minutes mm-hmm. and you're out of the class here. Yeah. Uh, and we're all aware that books come first. Okay. Omuntu, asolo kwe simba wuku wa guild ngarimu ya one. Yeah, one? No, not for guild president. Hey, uh, okay, on yes. th- third year? No, um, second year, as long as you are continuing student, except first year, and finally, the rest can stand for guild president. Okay, so second year is okay, and then third year and, and above? Yeah. Okay. Uh Fortune uh uh Mukamasa the ba past past guild presidents banji na endos and seven single manyako and nobody mao rumushana uh salaka jingo. Why is this position deteriorating in power? Uh what wing the chigenzing a chika Eranja Kumanya Rua Chichika Simani Obagwe Ochirabanga Wen Chiraba uh Rachi Chika a bay. 
Hello? Oh, pulide bulungi? Yes, yes. Esimu eri cloudi. Madam Saba, esimu eri cloudi. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, kwa singa badi kukutundoza. Uh, wali wo delay. Uh, singa Oh, osh... no, it's okay. Yeah, jite kutu uh, stroke flowing bulungi kuba uh, obaka bujja kubula. And okay. Um by then, but no but mawe wali wo ba wa mushala ne bani. Hmm. Institution had the powers to run their own leadership and politics. Hmm. By the time we reached to find that the government is so involved that even the administration starts to dictate who is going to be, who deserves to be a student leader and who doesn't. And we've reached a point where they will close school. You have online kinds of voting. You have different ways that we have lost that power that we had as a student fraternity, we've lost the power that the guild had, that everything now goes back to the top management, it goes back to the government. So, but now we are looking at how do we revive the power of the guild, and that is one of the reasons as to why I stood for guild president. Okay, what plans have you got to revive the power of the guild? Um, first and foremost, it's how bold I'm planning to stand, that we have had situations where when you come out to speak the truth, you're going to be intimidated, there are going to be a lot of threats, but I think I'm ready for that, and I believe I'm ready mm -hmm. for whatever is going to come along the way. And uh, secondly, I had a manifesto. I have things I promised to do to, for the students, mm -hmm. so it is up to me how am I going to push to have that done. And I believe with those two, we're going to still have the students trust the guild again and revive its powers. Mm -hmm. Do you consult Kuba guild president Avari Ko over you've got your own structure which you think is a winning game, a uh, game changer over Wali uh, Wengeri in the Rayona? Um, yes, as a leader and a young leader at that, I believe that I need the most guidance i could ever get from anyone and as i speak i'm glad to say that i was in the previous guild i served as academic minister so i'm in touch with my immediate predecessor and i'm in touch with the previous guild presidents that have been there because each of them has a story to tell and how they went about the different challenges that they found along the way Nyakutunulira uh, mapingira nsigire chifana echa shami nambasa in the next three years uh, in politics or not politics makerere or after makerere um, So now I'm focusing on serving as a guild president but I was voted into this office because students believed I would deliver so I want to focus on that and I will see what comes in the next Maybe. Yeah, but you must have a plan. No guarantee. Uh, the serving under guild president. Uh, this is my plan. I'm going to serve as somebody, Monop, Katugambe, Uba, NRM. You never know. Things change. What's your plan? Um, yes. Like I said, I'm going to focus here and then still be that person that students believed in that I'm going to be the voice of the voiceless. I'm going to stand for them. I'm going to speak for them. That even in the next one or two or three years I will be there for them and speak to my word. That's why I don't see myself getting out of this because that is home. That's where my beliefs are. In your unemployment uh, uh, problem in Uganda, Ugambi University already in a 40,000 youth, yeah, and every year, uh, makerele e furumia wa graduates okubanti bagenda mo the same stream okuuga, okulabanti bano nye mirimu, oboku tandika we mirimu. What's your th uh, thinking ku kuchintu chino? Uh, aba singa, bacha anonya, aba afuruma, nabali ba afuruma, nabali ba gena kufuruma, uh, uchilo waza kochi. Um, I will attribute unemployment to the fact that um, to start with their students who are studying courses and they don't know what they have to do after school, that we have a curriculum that is not definite to 
what exactly are you studying and what will you be after school. So we, we are letting out a lot of people, but with no sense of direction. That is the first thing. Secondly, we, we are teaching more of the job seekers rather than the job creators. And it has now become a notion that we just keep talking about, but what have we done about it? What opportunities have we created that people are sticking to their jobs until they are 60 years? So what happens when this person who left us 20 is occupying that job for the next 40 years? We need to give people an area where they grow so that the others who are getting out also have space where to occupy. So I, I would say that that is basically it. And even still when it comes to the university, that we are doing a lot of theory than the skills that you find someone in humanities is only having internship once in three years. So what is that person going to expect other than sit down and watch while the world moves in? Mm, mm, mm. Uh, but what often the uh, Prime Minister program we have been quoted today, uh, it is only a contact that they could demo who go away and see, and a contact that they can amasomero ntigatanika. Uganda, if only almost two years of uh, uh, dead years, uh, by using a tebasoma, that it took enough from the young to university. Nenga guami singa imia kevili. E chuchuro waza kuchie. Yes, um, as we've been running this campaign, our slogan basically based on that, that illiteracy can't cure COVID. And we believe that the continued closure of schools is not going to cure COVID. And we continue to question that Uganda has had the longest lockdown in the entire world. And are we just aiming at setting records or are we looking at its impact? And... We believe that it has been unfair. It is so illogical. There is no way you can close schools for two years and you expect that system to be the same, that these effects are going to be there for the next five years. That even when they try to show us a sense of direction, it's not clear that someone bases on the percentage of people that are going to be vaccinated in a country where we actually do not have the vaccines. So it's more of an excuse rather than a reason or a justification for closing schools. So I believe it's high time schools were opened and we had a clear plan of where we are going. Atabi Zivano Abagano Kuja by joining university in Gabami Singh Miak Hebidi Yobata Soma. What's your thinking about that? Yes, um the students that missed it's basically um it's not right that Students have to go through that. We believe that we are getting these half-baked students. And as Makere University, we've already had the cream de la cream. But uh, to our disappointment, this year we've seen cut-off points being lowered so as to accommodate the people who could not match up to the standards of, that the university expected to get. So it's, it's going to affect us that in the next five years, the kind of people we are going to be letting out are not the quality of students that should actually be getting out of a university. So, I believe there should be a solution to cover up those two years that were missed. Either changing curriculum or different avenues where these students can still get the same knowledge that they would have gotten within those two years. I was a banner catching up buying the universities and about different courses and I think by missing how are they going to catch up? Do you think the university is going to help on that? Bring a um, guild? Mm. I don't Yes, I don't think the university will be in position at all because as a university, it's an institution of higher learning that someone comes when they read it somewhere, they are just polishing. So all this baking and doing everything is supposed to be done at secondary level. So someone joins the university to build onto what is already there. So I feel a lot has to be done at the lower level than bringing them up to the higher level where they're going to just be given a disservice. Uh, but then somewhere around uh, even to be over the running and your campaign Katugaminga vaccinating the junta. Do you think you vaccinate the junta and how did you vaccinate the junta? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> we 
we've not yet vaccinated the junta. We've now just gotten the vaccine. So we are preparing to vaccinate the junta if schools are not opened. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and you're not scared of using such big uh, statements, vaccinating the junta? <laughs> No, that is the truth. I mean, why should I be afraid of speaking the truth? Okay, all right, all right. Okay, uh, so in your process of vaccinating the junta, do you think you have achieved what you actually meant? Um, we are on our way. We believe that um, I've made the first step. Hmm. So it's time to now make the other steps. This was the biggest hurdle. So we've, I've managed to skip that so the next will be much easier for us. How many times have you been, uh, been arrested? Um, arrested, I think it was twice in this campaign period. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and now, um, no justification. Just mm -hmm. that we spoke the truth when they didn't want to hear it. Ngachi, what truth did you speak? Um, we were questioning the accountability and the expense of money within the university mm -hmm. that we feel... We are not being given the services that we deserve. And I want to bring it to the attention of whoever is hearing that as students, we pay about $2 billion every year for hospital bills. But when you go to the university hospital, you only receive a single strip of Panadol that only costs 500 shillings. And after waiting for five hours to see a doctor. $2 billion shillings. They are in a very sorry state. So when we questioned the accountability of the university, we definitely had to be arrested because that's a bit of truth that they can't take in. Never could take over, but could take one day over. And yes, the first day they brought me to the university police station. Hmm. Then the second day, so I couldn't do that. So again, I couldn't do that. So we are now at one day over, but. Um, then they changed their mind and still brought me to the university police station. Okay, so you're not scared of being arrested? No, as long as I'm speaking the truth, then they should be the ones that are scared of arresting someone that has committed me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what's your, na your uh, plan for <laughs> national politics after university? Pardon? Your plans for national Pardon? politics? Uh, my plan for national politics, I have not actually concentrated on that. Hmm. I'm still focusing on serving as a girl president. And then when the right time comes, we shall see what to do then. Omunu njauliza, tuliku Connect Uganda Radio, tuliku mkutu www.connectuganda.com Zili dachika kumina mnana zo kwezi vila yukwe sawa esa tu wano mbongereza. Oliku James Mugasho live, Nesha Mimu na ambasa, Guild President, Omunu nduguwechi nana mwumusamvu, uh, atubulia chi chage no kukulira university. Era chi cha ina wo, uh, gwe ayalo kutuwe katako mu uh, program weno, yita ku James Tutumugatu, uja kubangu mfuna, uh, uba yita ku 0208-123-0850, uh, oso kumpelezo ubaka, ngo ku studio at connectuganda.com. Shamimu ngina kusabu osigaleo ngabu oli, ati tuve mbulango, kambu vili, tutambule okoma o. Halo, halo. I hope there's no Christmas today, but happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, everybody. No paperwork. Open up an account online with your phone anytime. Connectyougan.com. And connect radio. Yes, your radio, daddy. Yes, kumu nyatuliza Connect Uganda International Kumu kutu Connect Uganda www.connectuganda.com Banafa basa intende banka baku gamba Genda ugulewo sendi diaspora account Ujigulewo uh, jigulewo online Tuweta kukubanga Ugena mubanka Bintu ino diachi ukada No paperwork Ulichimu Ujigulewo awoku online Sentende bank sponsors Connect Uganda Tukwandiza nyo kumu nyatuwe yunzeko Tuina Shamimu namba sao kuwa mugeuj ya makere university nga president uwe shina na mwomu sambu 
alina funa korwa lero kato patrick ali mu london central london uh, twala nyo kutubulya wo wuli na yes, no problem london itumala kato patrick yaga manti abayizi eh uh, abavubuke ana eh uh, mukoze chamanyi nyo okugena nga mukuma abantu omuliro mu bantu na ato muri bugukolera na mudu ka muda yo ku university nga abe wachiseka guwocha ah uh, mugenyo wafu mutubulize kwecho uh, shamimu okirowoza kochi uh, bwana kato chaga mu patrick eh muku mu muliro mu bantu ate bugukolera nga mu muda yo ku university nga mwekuma <laughs> okay right uh, shamimu jori yes yes ndinaenga mm. um history of what you meant in the university we sala wo e so e gwanga libali saze wo sechewa na ye wagamba walid sechewa yes sechewa is similarly 0208 123850 but do country code plus 44 bobanga tuli mu uk anyway yes sechewa cha dagama ti mhm shame Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is the Okay, Katumulinda asolo to be a Sechewa. Sechewa li 0208-123-0850. Bobango sopo de. Uh, Kutukubida. Uh, so, kwa ayala kukugana na we directly. Hey, tuja kubanga tumufuna. Uh, ali mu leads. Yeah. Okay. Ngojeko okubanti wali mu nopu. Wali wibi vina yunabia ya kutukirida. Uh, kubako ingeri uh, yo kugenda sponsoring campaign zo um, yes definitely it's something that has always been there until party will be a moment to live vibrant a moment to live by now wangula baba gala baba wukida kofkos and party reached out to me with different offers, but because my belief and faith mm. aligned with those of NUP, I could not afford to leave. It's a test of my integrity. Mm. And what I stand for would not go with the offers that were coming along with was my belief. And okay. I will the offers to me and it was to order. Yeah. Ngachi, nga padeji. Um, of course, it's always money that we've, we've been in a world where people believe that money can buy off everyone, which I personally don't believe in. Yeah, for purposes of not being too open, I will not mention which I think I think it. Okay. Uh, uh, or in a team you are around you today on the program over Oriweka? Uh, can come on the program on the show. No problem at all. Um, um actually right now actually, you know, I, in Uganda right now it's actually coming to meet me. So everyone is in their places right? uh, and pro- producer Wangabada Ambuz and Shami Marwa could damu each was a cho chobombuza chip together team each are you so kumuyamba kubuza. No, no. I think I think I think no it's not that I'm someone who thinks for myself. So. Yeah, I'm alone as I speak right now. Maybe it's a question of network or something. Okay, network of problem. No problem yeah. at all. No problem. Um, how, how often do you meet principal or noob? Pardon? How often do you meet the principal of noob? Um, I do meet him whenever it's necessary. And at times when we have things that we must talk about and plan, and when he has some guidance or advice to offer, so I really can't give particular times or regularities that we can meet. Mm, 
Meaning that you speak to the principal all the time. Yeah, yeah, we do talk over phone. We do it. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, do apologize. Uh, line Jacob and Teriko country code. We do apologize for that. Yeah. John Francis, uh, Oyakuba Oto Oto is, um, yes, yes, okay. We shall join you on this in a minute. Okay. Uh, Shamim Mubanga Ori Mukusiga Chifanan Echa after university. Do you think Ogana Kusigram politics over Tosigram politics? Um, I'm a very passionate person about leadership and I believe I'm going to stick and stand with what I believe in until it's the time when I feel that yes, we've gotten to where we, we are meant to be. Maybe then I can get out. But for now, I'm still back to leadership. To try to get a second school, you have, uh, how was your second school? Background, Yalimu Okulembera? Uh, <laughs> yes, I studied from Narisunsa Girls School. Narisunsa? Uh, yes, the Kubam Senior and Saka Senior Six. And uh, senior five, senior six, I served as the head class. Okay. What we young man, Boba Toberanga co head prefect, don't think about Kulembere Gombolora. <laughs> Do you believe in that? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't believe in that. Eh, Antiket, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Rose, and you also Kulembere and Yadde Tewali co class monitor. Yeah, yeah, leadership is not about where you've been before, it's what you can do at that particular time and maybe the time to come. Anybody knows, Auntie, chi, chi, Chiba inbuilt into Oyala Kulembera, Oyala Kufuka, Oyala Kuabula, eh? Chi inbuilt. Now, what are we meaning Gulaba Bana Bakula, eh? Or one of Gulaban are in charge, eh? It was to secondary, now we're a prefect. Wa prefect in our head gold, head boy, head girl, Bava in our guild, Bava guild, Nafuka, chairperson one nope, Bava quit. What's your take on that? Um, hmm. Yes, uh, I think we have examples that we can look at. We've had people that have lived this above that. An example is uh, His Excellency Bobby Weinberg. He comes from the ghetto and out of nowhere he's a member of parliament. I don't think he had ever been anything anywhere else. So mm. That's something that I don't believe that the leaders maybe have to be in a certain kind of way that they must be brought up like this, you know. Mm. Hey, Bob Wine, about yeah. the leader of the music industry. He was leading um, <laughs> his own band. Uh, you know. Mm. Hey. Uh, yeah, so... Hmm? Yeah, I think you can't compare leading a music band to being a head girl somewhere. Those are two different kinds of areas that, yes, employ leadership skills, but it's not politics, basically. I don't think he had to complain to anyone to be the leader of his music band. I don't know how it, it works. Possibly, but it's over to run in the government. I'm going to be a singer, I'm going to be a leader of a free band. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. um, take me through uh, university life in Ngawe Tambla at the moment after politics and uh, people are focusing on what? Church again, at the university at the moment. Mm. Uh, you're breaking, you're breaking. Um, I take you through what's happening at the university. Mm. Hello? Yes, take me through what's uh, you know, happening at the university after politics. Umazo uh, Huronda, Chich Tamblaka, Chich, what's trending? Queen University. Um, as per now, uh, it's basically focusing on the question of security and as the new leadership that, yes, we are going to swear in on Friday, but we feel it's, up, it's upon us to come out and see how best the students are going to be safe. So we've already said, we've already started even before we are actually officially in our offices, and of course expectations are still high that Shamil, Tamikida, or Cheti Dako, and questions of that sort. So it's all the substance and excitement, I would say, of what next now after we've won, and 
it's also up to us now to see where we go to next and how best we are going to deliver the cable for these people. Okay. Nina wano Beatrice Sempa. Yes. Beatrice Sempa alimu central rural ya gaminti. Hawa yu munda bili namba sa o yu ogi wangi na bisu msa. Ndoza ya ugendo gini na bisu msa ngonu ya vayo da. Beatrice Sempa. Sempa. Uwe wale yukubu wangu uli za program wano. Beatrice. Uwe wale nyo. Uwe wale dala. Okay. Uh, okay. Wado gina maso. Gina maso. About the focus. Ya baizi. What they're focusing on now. Yes. Um, like I said, right now it's a question of security with the bomb blast and everything and rumors that Makere is the next target place. So we are doing our best as the new leadership to see how do we have security enforced within the university but still not forgetting the questions that we have over the security forces. So um, as the new leadership, we not yet sworn in, we're swearing in on Friday, but we feel it's up to us, so Kuwaini, Tuyamba, yeah, we believe this is affecting students and it has to be addressed. And then it's also the substance of, yeah, Shamim, now what next, where are we going to, where do we start from? And even up to me, yes, now, it's now time to deliver what we promised to the students, especially this year. And, of course, the uh, finalists are doing exams, so you also have that other side where people are in session. It's a lot happening within the university. Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah. right. Okay. Uh, further best, uh you can send a message here. Father best is your phone number. Okay. Yes, you can send a message to send a message here. Father Pest is your follower. You can send a message here. Yasoma, a government, uh, she's very, very interested in your work and she wants to, uh, no, he wants to support you. Uh, your oh, work, thank you, father. Yeah. We were in you, we were in the okay. Side you were to why me today. We at Wiza, it a co two o eight one two three oh five zero. Uh, drop a text, sours, no, Yakuanja Somera, um, Charono, a Sukuanga, a Jidamu. Quickly, I talk to Sibra Mudishangazizo. Uh, so Kwanti or Yogerako Naye. Kwan is a new new dollar. Uh, let's keep waiting. Can come over, Shamim, at say to Tawaiti to Tambra. Coming to you live, the great mix sounds of connectyouget.com. And connect radio. Yes, your radio. Right, Shamimu, nga tuteka tekuba nga tukusibu la mula chikangazi hizo. Mbibuza uh, uh, iba David Jawano, uh, abaga lukuba nga baya mba uh, enteka teka yu e ya university. Baita wa, ilaba bakusanga wa okutusako obuyambi. Okulaba nti, entebe enyuera, guru guru, okulaba nti, e, e hinto chitambu za kugena maso. Shamimu Jolie, hello, hello Shamimu. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Ah, nah. you <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm the Yes. Um, uh, can Shamim number one at gmail.com. Tukina kuwa nga tukisilamu mda chikangazi hizo. Uh, mda chikangemi kusaba utuwa waka wa Christmas. Na manyago nga ugata deko. Atiso kuwa nga tukuta. Uh, university kuwa nga Uganda ubude watamu deda. We do apologize. Ate we thank you so much. Akadeko tuwa de. Nga kasa nti otukoze cha tendo kuwa nti wade na fe. Uh, Tuja kudamu tukunonye kuru na kulala. Otuwuli ya university nga wetambula. Over to you. Okay. Um, thank you. First and foremost, I want to extend my utmost gratitude. Um, I'm grateful for being on this show. And I'm um, really privileged to be here. Thank you so much. And to everyone that has tuned in, thank you for listening and thank you for coming through. Um, Shamim Nambasa, the Guild President-elect, Makere University. I wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> 